Today is Tuesday, September 7th, and you can see I'm not in my normal work shirt. Uh, I'm gonna do some work outside. We have some contractors coming in to start uh, taking down the, the tea house, which is the cob structure in the backyard, so we can put the, uh, the carport over there. Um, and so Gabriel, Justin, and I are gonna clean out the rest of the playhouse and start taking it down, because if we're gonna have a construction dumpster, we might as well get all the crap into it. So we're gonna kinda all get that done this week, and then that way, at some point in the future, we can start working on that carport. Uh, so that's my day. Daniel's got some updates, and here you go. What's up, everybody? Uh, just kind of get you up to speed. I've got a leather Kydex hybrid sheath upstairs with the Gerber we've been working on. Let's face this a little better. Uh, and then, as I'm working on that back and forth, I will be getting some stuff for stock ready. Uh, my customs are kind of cut off for the year so I took off the October November December in order to do things for for uh, customs and I have a couple of chefs that I'm also going to be doing things for so I've got those in the works uh, I have a couple M4 knives that we're doing um, and then I've got a good number of the euros that I that I like to do that I'm going to be doing as well if I can get those drilled up ready for grinds that'd be great otherwise I will show you more progress manana Nico are we going to you no, nope, okay. don't have anything from Nico, so that just means we'll have better stuff for you later on this week. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 8th, and today we will be taking down the rest of the structure of the playhouse. We got all the walls off and the roof off, so now it's just the base structure that we're going to be dealing with uh, because the guys, they, okay, they kind of started yesterday. They, they got to look at it, and so they came up with the plan, so they're really getting going today on taking out the tea house. So... We'll get the rest of that structure out of their way and basically in a pile for the construction dumpster that will be here later in the week. That will be my day. I did get one knife finished that Nico will show you here in a little bit. Otherwise, here's Daniel with his updates. Have a good day. Catching you up to speed, I have basically got the M4 knives ground. Uh, this one I've got to finish up, stamp get ready for heat treat. And then... Uh, I've worked with Justin to get these guys a good amount of the way, and I will go ahead and get with him on those later, and we will, <laughs> and he's reminded me that he wanted to show his knife off, uh, so this is what Justin finished, and um, we'll get more into that later. Let's see what Nico's got going on. What's up, bud? Whoa, what's up? We got a new Stasuki. This is a deeper one. It's got a little bit of a deeper blade than the rest of them. It's got this new glob angles design. Acid edge with some uh, really cool serenity scales. They got these in integral bolsters and the resin with like black ash or black oak. Really cool stuff. That's pretty cool, man. Mixed up. Yeah. On the website, yes or no? On the web, will be on the website. Oh, today. so not there yet. No. All right, guys, take a look on the website later. That's going to be it for us today. We will give you an update tomorrow. See you then. Good morning. It's Thursday, September 8th, and today I will be finalizing the handle on Jason's Everyday Carry. So we got it drilled on Saturday, the first uh, part of it. And then I just had basically lots and lots of brain farts and I couldn't remember how I had just done this on the dagger like a month ago. And so I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get it all shaped um, and get it upstairs to where then I can start working on the sheath because this one is due end of mid, mid next week, let's say. Um, and we were going to cut some handle scales for uh, another knife for stock. Um, this is a high carbon knife. It's one of the very few high carbon knives you'll see me put in the stock. Um, but it is what it is. And so uh, it'll have a lovely mustard patina that I'll show you when the knife is all done. Um, so that's the bulk of my day. If I get anything else done, awesome. Oh, and I'm leaving early because I have to pick up a part for the Benchmade case. Um, we did get it working again. Not that you know it was broken, but it's working again. Um, and I'm going to fix it uh, fully later tonight and tomorrow. So Daniel's got some updates, and then we'll see Nico in just a second. What is up, everybody? G -g 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 getting you up to speed on what's going on. I've got the M4 knives ground. Uh, as you can see, we've got Chef Chris Williams all nice and uh, ground ready for heat treat. And then a Euro Chef that I will be making for myself. That is ready for heat treat as well. On to the refurbs. As you can see, 
The Gerber knife is pretty much to completion. I've done this leather hybrid where I've basically formed a piece of leather and then also made a snap for this guy to set in. I will be riveting and completing this guy today if everything goes nice and smooth. And then I will be on to these guys. Uh, earlier in the week, I had Justin help me. I've got Josh now, and so he will be helping me getting these ready. This one's pretty close to finished, and then we'll be getting a sheath ready for this guy and getting it tipped. Uh, so that way it is ready. Other than that, that's gonna be the main part of my day, guys. Let's go on over to Nico. Hi, Josh. Hi. What's up, Nico? What's up? I got some new stuff in yesterday, a bunch of new stuff. We got four new Evolution Perry knives. These are really cool. They sell out really fast. A few new handmade sand stock. Really cool little petty utility knife. Kind of traditional and style Yonis Hanasuki, but with our serenity scales. Really dope. Integral bolsters with a, a little bit of a pinch grip a in there. Another little petty utility knife. This one's also really cool. I like it's super that. light. I dig it, man. All right. What was that? We got a mini Crooked River back in stock and two of the new 2.0 Kramer. Oh, now guys, it's the first time I'm seeing these two. Um, if you know anything about me, I am the high carbon Kramer guy. Um, so first time putting this in my hands, that feels nice. I'm not mad about this one bit. Oh, I've kind of. It came in this box though. Yeah. This came in this box? Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, he's willing. Let's, uh, let's talk about packaging on small knives, right? Let's save a little bit. Other than that, guys, everything on the website? Uh, yeah, we'll be today. All right, everything will be on the website today. All of this new stuff. A lot of knives going in, guys. Um, what I'll say right now is get your holiday shopping started because once people start coming in here for those, those things are going to get nabbed up. So uh, definitely take a look at those. you have any questions, hit us up. Make sure to just... Uh, smash those like buttons and that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Good morning, it is Friday, September 10th and yesterday we got the finish on two Hanasukis done. So these are the two I did. You will see the two that Gabriel did tomorrow. We did the same thing with the tape where we tear it off but then we painted his claw scratches um, so then they'll stay shiny and the rest of the blades will go dark. Um, but that means that the spray paint has to set overnight. So I can't show you because I, I will be putting them in acid first thing this morning. And I got this guy all the way done. Um, so this is all the way hand sanded. I leave it a tiny bit. So I should say it's all the way done for what I need to do next with it. So I'm going to make the sheath and then I will finish hand sanding it. Um, so it is done for now. Uh, we will now start the sheath on that guy today, and I'll have that done by the end of the end of the day. Um, it's a fairly simple uh, black Kydex with a tech lock. Um, Multi-positional is probably the hardest part of that one today. So that will be my day finishing this guy, uh, hopefully getting some handles on these, and getting the other two knives in the acid. Uh, that's my day. Here's Daniel for his. <laughs> What's up everybody, uh, catching you up to speak with what's going on in my world. I have the Kydex leather hybrid for the Gerber, all D-U-N done. Yep, I said D-U-N. Um, but I've got oil on the blade, that way it stays away from rust and I've got it secured in here. I will be getting that acquainted with the customer so I can ship it on out. And then I will be working on the two refurbs that I will try and get done for manana. I've got to get a sheath going for this guy. As you can see, I've already re-tipped it. I'll be bringing it down much later. Um, basically get that taken care of. Uh, I've got a leather stack that I'm gonna get with Elizabeta on to get a clear resin mold going. And that'll be my last uh, refurb. I'll probably start that either sometime later this week or next week. And then I've just got knives for stock, guys. So other than that, that's what I've got. Nico, we don't have anything, right? Never mind, Nico has some. Here we come. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got, brother? So we got the new bug out in yesterday. It's got the T6 aircraft aluminum scales with this cool starburst milling pattern going on. And then it's got an M390 stainless steel blade with the red. They called it starburst? Uh, I don't know if they called oh, it. Oh, anyway. I was like, man, if they called it starburst, that's kind of cool. But then I'd be like, man, get some color in there other than the red. But... 
guys this one is super cool i really like this guy um i gotta get used to the whole aluminum thing i don't know how i feel about it 100 percent, but is it on the website yet it is all right guys take a look you know those aren't gonna last long um so make sure you're gonna either get yours or come in and grab yours uh like always make sure you're whining and dining that uh subscribe button and go ahead and take that uh like button out on the date and we'll talk to you tomorrow bye you Good morning, it is Saturday, September 11th, and yesterday I got the bulk of the work on this sheath done, and yes, it took me all day. Let me say that, all day. So he wanted a fully multi-positional pocket clip, which is why there's this third piece of Kydex on there, so this will literally rotate around, and then you can take this plate off, put it on the other side, um, and the reason the, the plate needs to be there is because this wife is wider than the tech locks are so you you have to come up with some solution for that so that's the solution fully changeable you can do up down left right scout um all of it um and these tech locks are fully compatible with with belts molly um the whole nine yards so what i will be doing today is just making it a little bit prettier checking the retention right now it's good but if i'm going to bring this in just a little bit contour it clean it up and then get this thing i'm going to uh, finish hand sanding it get the polish done on the handle because this handle will be exposed back here so going to make it all pretty all homogenous and i will be done with it today in just a couple hours um that's that's my day daniel doesn't have anything he was working on leather yesterday and it's just not at a spot where it's pretty so we'll hear from him on tuesday but nico Nico has something exciting. Yo, what's up? So yeah, we did some some swappage. We swappage? Did, we did some swappage. And so now we have a M390 blade on the blue periphery bug out. Say that again, an M390? Yeah, M390 blade on a blue bug out. On a blue bug out, that's crazy. So this knife doesn't typically look like this. This. Yeah, no, this is no BK-4. This is a uh, BK-4, but with S30V instead of M390. So it's got a satin blade, super clean looking. And I, I love this all satin here, yeah, and, the and then this black. all black here. That, they, Benchmade's never done a black and blue bug out. We, we've done them in the past where we've swapped stuff around, um, but this is just killer this is what we would do and we, we, we would dye the scales black so we had an all black one before benchmade did it but this is an m390 uh bug out and if you know anything about me you know i love m390 so i'm glad that they came out with the bug out actually i i've ordered mine already mine will be here on thursday um and i'm gonna get some custom scales on it you'll be seeing more about that in the future super excited and so just love, love taking Benchmade's amazing products and making them more custom for our customers. So absolutely love that. Our beautiful Benchmade case is again full. Um, they've been very, very stressed through the pandemic trying to get things and get knives out to their distributors, um, which is why they, like you can't order any Griptilians right now if you haven't been on Benchmade's website. So if you want a Griptilian, you basically have to go to a dealer um, because they're not producing them right now so they can produce everything else that does sell really well uh, like the bug outs and some of the brand new knives that they still haven't released like the arm still hasn't been released because of, of, of production issues um, staffing all of it so so we're with you Benchmade we, we know you're having your, your, your trials right now but we, we love this stuff we love the access lock and Man, that thing, yeah. that is killer. Love that one. That's it from us for the week. Have a great weekend. Uh, have fun. Get outside. And we'll see you next week.